Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Stock Swoosh Show live from New York City. I'm doing a review here of the QQQs in this market, and what a show and a tower of strength. Market, for all intents and purposes here, looking at it, what it's going to close like, going into Friday, going into the weekend, July 18th, uh, market's setting up to gap up on Monday morning, depending on what happens with news-related things over the weekend. But as of now, if everything stays stable and there's not a news-related gap, the market should gap up here Monday morning, gap up over the high. What a beautiful setup here in this market. What a pillar of strength. And the market is setting up to do what I've been talking about. Market could even reach the next target up here at 100 in the QQQs and 200 in the SPY next week. Uh, this is incredible strength here. And again, like I've been saying, there will be no correction. There will be no correction here. People are looking for a correction. It's not going to happen. One red bar is a correction at this point. And look at the way that we retraced the move that happened yesterday into support, which was news driven, actually. This fall and that happened here in the market yesterday. Let's look at the 15 minute. Market probably would have held yesterday if it weren't for the news. So it was a news reaction here that happened that made the market fall here into the close on yesterday. This was Thursday. Market gapped up, gapped up this morning, gapped up, could have come in a little teeny weeny bit and basically been neutral in the day. My bias for the market really on the day was neutral um, until it started to take off, which happened right here in the 15 minute chart into 11 o'clock. So that was it. Market never looked back. Rallied over the high is actually triggering a buy set up here on the daily chart and almost making a new high here. It could actually make a new high to the close. There's 45 minutes left in the day. 96.30 is in it. The market could make a new high today here in the queues. <laughs> And am I surprised? The answer is no. What have I been saying? What did I say? What have I been saying? Don't short this market. Don't short this market. Don't short it. Don't short this market. There's no reason to short this market whatsoever. There is no reason to short this market. None. Zip. Okay. And uh, so I'm not surprised that this is falling through so well. Why? Market's in an uptrend. Market's holding and you ain't seen nothing yet. And that's what I have been saying, and it is correct, okay? Meaning, this rally that people think is extended that's happened here so far this year, 2014, people have not seen anything yet because what is going to happen between now and the end of this calendar year, between July and December, the rally in the market is going to be massive. It's going to be huge. It's going to blow everyone away. You haven't seen anything yet, all right? And that's the truth. And there it is, all right? It's time to bring on the bull. It is time. There's the bull. Let's get him out. He is ready. He is charging. He is setting up to charge. He's charging through today. He's been charging through. He's charging full speed ahead. And you're going to see this evident in the market. It's clear as day to me. It's been clear as day to me for weeks and months. It's months has been clear to me. But here's the bull. He is charging forward and there's no stopping him now. Okay. So for people that keep making attempts here to short this market, thinking it is toppy or extended or needs a correction, they're going to be balled on, blowed on through because the market's just going to keep going higher. And people here, some people are actually waiting. Some people here are waiting, and they're going to miss it. They're going to miss the rally. They're waiting, and there's no reason to wait. And you should be long this market already if you wanted to. And let's go back and review. How do I know this? How am I able to see this so well? Because I've been reading the gaps in the market. And back here, it was the end of May. This one here, this gap is going to hold for a long, long, long time and could very well hold for the entire rest of the year. And it's a long way away from here. Long way away. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's Friday. It is a summer Friday, and the markets rallied all day <laughs> on a Friday in the summer. Look at this. This is happening here with, with, with people already gone out of their offices, off to the Hamptons. And this is happening. So expect a nice, nice big move up on Monday, okay? Barring any unforeseen news about wars and plane crashes. But really, I think the market gaps up here on Monday. And a nice close here into the day. 45 minutes left, so 20 cents from the making a new high. Market could very well do that today into the close. I wouldn't be surprised. So markets are great long. And stocks that are strong here, you could be buying with this market at the right place. Okay, You can't buy everything. You buy stuff that's strong. You short weakness and you buy strength. So just thought I'd do a little update here. The bull is charging, charging forward. And you're really going to see him run. And you know what? It's going to be hard to catch him. <laughs> Look for that 
Look for the bull that you're not going to be able to catch between now and the end of the year. And some crazy bullish numbers here into this market high. Over and over and over again, it's going to just keep on keeping on. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. Golden Gap class is next weekend, July 26th and 27th. If you'd like more information and want to learn how to trade from me, want to take the class and learn how to read gaps and learn how to read price the way that I do, Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you want to sign up. Have a fantastic weekend, everyone. It's going to be gorgeous here in New York City. This is Melissa with thestockswish.com live from New York City. Have a great weekend.